Hello, this is Polly Knits. The blog is knitting pollyblogspotcom On Ravelry, I am Polly81. Our podcast group is Polly Knits on Ravelry. There's no Facebook group as of now, and we've got Etsy's Polly Knits, but there's nothing in it, so I gotta work on that. So, welcome. It is January 26, 2018, and it's been going well here. It's been pretty rainy. Um, let's see, I did, I've been to the dentist a few times for some crown stuff, crown work, and then um, not too much going on. I'm still watching Scandal and the Grey's Anatomy and... Oh, uh, Grace and Frankie's really funny. I'm loving that on Netflix. And, um, oh, I was watching The Crown, but I haven't seen that in a while. I'll have to get back to it. And, uh, what really upset me this week was that RuPaul was supposed to be on last night, and they kept advertising it on my TV. And sure enough, nothing recorded, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, I checked MTV, I checked Logo, I checked everywhere. And then I saw online it said Look, check WoW Presents. Uh, I don't think I get that here. Uh, and I'm not going to pay to see the All-Stars, but um, on TV. So I have seen a few of the queens um, perform. I saw Ben De La Creme perform at Disney and I saw uh, Sharon Needles perform in the Tenderloin, so that was awesome. In San Francisco, she did a really good job. Um, so, yeah, um, a few things that uh, are going on this week. I watched The Budget Knitter. He is doing a flax tutorial knit-along. He wants you to knit with him, and he wants... he. He's going step by step, so if you want somebody to hold your hand through the process of that sweater, that's a good idea. Um, his, his is looking great so far. And the other thing is that I was watching In a Pickle Knitting. It's a podcast that I really enjoy. Um, she also sews, and she did a tutorial on how to make her special pouch a knitting bag. And there's pockets and zippers and like it's not it's not your basic knitting bag. It's got some bells and whistles on it, so that's really cool. Um, I watched that one all the way through, and I do plan to make that. Uh, I want to get some sewing started, but I haven't had the mojo. <laughs> so um, my finished object this week is a hat. I finished this. Just, um, it's called Hat for Soldiers. I just wanted to use up some yarn. This is how much I have left. And I rubber band my labels back on. This is Encore Plymouth yarn. And it has a, a number instead of a colorway, but it's a nice, pretty, kind of tannish brown color. It's really nice. So I don't know, Mike will probably take that. I just uh, usually put these hats in a pile and they end up being worn. Um, so that's my basic cat pattern that I always go for when I just want it to fit anybody. It's free and um, I've already knit a lot of them. So <laughs> And I also finished this sock. This sock is for my cousin Alex. I'm not sure why it got so large in the leg. Um, I'm thinking it might be the yarn. This is Hawthorne. Knitpicks Hawthorne yarn. And um, I didn't realize it was a two-ply before I started making these socks. So I think that's why it may be acting a little bit different than what I'm used to. Because uh, this is my first lock out of this yarn. And then I also um, read that you can't just sew it in your washer and dryer. You have to um, take care of this these socks. 
And oh, I have the tag. I think this is the tag. Yeah, Montevilla, and it's uh eighty percent superwash fine Highland wool and twenty percent polyamide machine wash gentle and tumble dry low. So um, those are some care and what care instructions look like. Um, so that's cool. I don't think he'd have a problem. The only thing is that they might shrink. And I have some socks that I've knit for myself that have shrunk down to a size 9. And I'm thinking about sending those to him also. <laughs> it's just that these are uh, the cuffs are a little bit tight on those ones. Because that's before I knew the twisted German casts on. So that's a half finished object. Oh, Project Half Done, PhD. And then here is the cuff of the next one. So this is a 2x2 two two rib cuff. This is a 1x1 one one rib cuff. Oops. So I might leave it or I might rip it out and start again. I'll probably rip it out and start over because I want the socks to match. So that's one project. And I've started another project. Again, I just want to try to uh, work on some of my single stash yarns. So this is the same hat I just talked about. Hat for soldiers. Um, and I've had this yarn forever. It's been kicked around the room. It's been here. It's been there. It's like I'm tired of looking at it. So I figured I could just knit this up. It's 100% acrylic. It's soft. It's very soft. And this is called Burnett Camouflage. It's discontinued. See, they made some pants out of it on the label. <laughs> and the, side, the color is Desert Sand. So that's already up on my... Um, Ravelry project page. So that's a fun net. Obviously, I keep doing it. And what else? That's it. That's all. That's all I'm working on. Besides my sock yarn blanket, which I need to get out and uh, start working on, and um, I also want to start working on a quilt, which. Um, it keeps getting further and further away because I keep working on other projects. So uh, I also attempted another hat out of the same pattern with this yarn. It's called Plymouth Yarn Galway Pure Wool Knitting Worsted Weight. And um, the hat was so airy. This is not a worsted weight. This is a DK weight. And look at that. Oh, you can see it on my forehead how thin that is compared to this one. <laughs> well, that's not going to work. Okay. But just looking at it in person, you can feel it and tell that they're two different yarns. So this, I'm, I think I'm going to try to do the ridge hat with this yarn. And this yarn did come from my local yarn store, so maybe I should tell them this is not worse than weight yarn. So that was a plan, and now it's another plan. And so next up, I'm going to be working on that monster I showed you out of this. That's the blackest soul attached to here. <laughs> so, and then. That's Coco barking if you could hear her. So Will from the Budget Knitter is making his um, flax sweater out of Karen Cakes. And he's going to uh, use three Karen Cakes should be enough. I only have two of each color, but I brought some over here to show you. 
um, and talk about it. Now, I bought this for to make the virus shell because I thought that would be beautiful. But now I want a sweater out of it. I'd love a flax sweater out of this. So, I can either add another colorway or I can go to Michael's and just get another one of these. I was thinking that the bottom of the sweater could be this yellowy color. But would Polly look good in that? <laughs> I don't know. That's like summery. Yeah, I don't know. And then I have this blueberry cake. So, that's kind of closer, right? Like, maybe I could do the blueberry cake on top and then whatever this one's called on the bottom. But my question is, how would you get the sleeves to match? Because I'm noticing on some of these sweaters, I'm looking at the sleeves aren't matching. Is that going to bother you? Is that... So this one is a cake pop. This one's called cake pop. Yeah. So these are the three I was thinking of. <laughs> and I have two of each, so I don't know. That was my thought of just trying to get a sweater out of um, yarn that I already have. Which is what I always try to do, is use up what I have. Um, the other option I have is this, is impeccable acrylic. Now, the cake yarn that I just showed you has wool in it. This does not have any wool in it. And I bought it because I wanted a vest or something, because I think it's pretty cool yarn. And see all the tweed it's like really rainbow tweed and now I'm thinking that I want a flax out of it <laughs> but I was all I keep getting told online and hearing on podcasts don't knit a garment out of acrylic yarn and I'm like well how much harm is it gonna do I mean it's for myself so and I'm thinking about it so tell me what you think about knitting garments out of acrylic um, I just think this is nice so it might be I don't know a vest or another sweater that's the option for this one it's just weird because I have all these like sweater quantities of acrylic yarn but they need to be afghan quantities, not sweater quantities. Uh, so, what else has been going on? Uh, there's nothing been going on here. Um, hmm. Just there's nothing on TV. No books. I've been I haven't been reading books. Um, I did download an audio book. But I've never used an audiobook, so I have to go figure that out too. Um, hmm. And tonight I'm going to probably do some chores, probably make some dinner for myself, figure out what's on TV, go see what recorded. And that's it. That's just a small podcast. Uh, I was watching a podcast yesterday that was two hours, over two hours long. I'm telling you, <laughs> I got through it, but I had to. Fa I had to use this uh, on YouTube under the video. You could speed up the video. I had to speed it all the way up to get through. And then um, sometimes I feel like um, podcasts can become a little bit of a um, shopping, a shopping show. You know, a shopping network. So. Um, which is cool. I know you're, people need to be promoted with their stuff, but sometimes I feel like it's on and on and on. <laughs> but, well, I mean, that's I guess that's how it works, isn't it? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to say goodbye, and thank you for watching, and um, 
that's all that's going on, and hopefully I have some finished objects for you next Friday, and um, yeah, have a great week. Bye.